Hey everyone and welcome to see your out. In this tutorial we will see how we can turn mesh or poly objects into particles using particle flow. We will do a bit of scripting and for those who either don't know scripting or don't want to do scripting I have a surprise to do it automatically but will be revealed at the end of this tutorial. So here is a pillar and it is already pre-fragmented as you can see and if you want to learn how to do these fragments just visit cgroute.com and watch the pro cutter tutorial in the tutorial section. So as you can see that these fragments have names plane 009, plane 007 so it is appropriate to rename all of these objects so let's select all the objects and in the tools section let's rename objects select it base name frags and numbered let's rename them and close so now all our fragments are renamed appropriately so let's go into particles world and in the particle view it will take a bit to open okay so here is my particle view let's drag an empty flow and a birth script consider it an intermediate level tutorial as we will do some scripting as well so in birth script I am going to do is I will add or remove some channels like we don't need time we do need age we will do use shape and use TM TM stands for transform on init or initialization let's add all the objects which we want to make particles so let's do it like global my frags is equal to frags asterisk as array so it will lift all the objects with names frags in the my frags variable I will also get rid of some of the code but I will use some of the chunks like this I am going to delete all this code or maybe only which is in the brackets okay, like this so I have for bracket if bracket and on proceed bracket okay that's fine if t1 is less than 0 do for i in let me delete it for i in 1 2 my frags dot count so this for loop will run as many times as there are objects in this variable so for i in 1 to my frags dot count do p count p count is equal to p container particle container p count dot add particle so it will loop and add one particle on each loop p count dot particle index is equal to p count dot num particles so each particle will get an index a unique number p count dot particle age is equal to 0 
so each particle will get an h p con dot particle shape is equal to my frags i dot mesh and last but not the least p con dot particle tm is equal to my frags i dot transform so it will not only get the mesh property of this object which resides in my fragments array it will also get the transform of the same mesh and run the script evaluate all okay you can see that I got particles here so let me hide my original mesh let's minimize for a second I will select all my frags and let's add them in a separate layer and hide it so here are my particles let's see by doing it geometry and here you go now these are your particles these are not mesh objects and now you can do whatever you want with these particles like what I can do is I can add a speed operator here like here is my speed so you can see that all particles will go down so I will do it reverse and add a little divergence like this so all particles will go up like this let me add a little spin to these particles so all particles will blast on above of it I can add an edge test with absolute edge to maybe like 6 so at frame 6 this edge test will be true and I will add a gravity to it so let me add a force I will make it geometry as well and let's add a gravity space warp like this so on frame 6 all particles will be okay let me add this gravity to my force like this so you will see that on frame 6 all particles will go down oops the speed is too high so let me decrease the speed maybe like 150 with a little variation like this so you can see that the pillar blast now what else can I do is I can add a deflector to the scene and in here I will do a I will do a collision with this deflector and I will make it collide multiple times maybe five times or three times and speed will be like stop so it will collide three times and then eventually become stop okay let's see what we got like this okay the bounce value is too high plus it is going to spin forever so let's add a spin make it zero and for this deflector I'm going to make the bounce rate 0.2 a little less I will add uh, fr some friction okay, let's see what we got this to make a display like in here or I can even with a shift key pressed I can drag it out and place it here as an instance so all the events will get the same display like this so let's see what we got 
so you see that particles blast and then eventually comes to rest on the deflector so this is how we can turn our mesh objects into particles using this bird script and for those who don't want to do scripting i told you have a surprise so let's open the scene again and these are again our fragments chunks which are not particles but these are objects and the script I was talking about so let's run a script I'm going to put max script run script and let me so here is the script this magic script will turn your mesh objects into particles without knowing any scripting I have done this job for you so let's obj name starts with so my obj name starts with plane so let me write here plane I will going to hide original objects and create pf whoops <laughs> we got particles so you can see that my original fragments are hidden and I got a particle flow here and burst script is automatically added and you got the script written there the script is downloadable from a website that is cgroute.com and if you have any questions do ask me thanks for watching